Hello, I'm Sinu Lee, Clinical Fellow of Samsung Medical Center, Department of Urology. Recently, the incidence of prostate cancer has increased rapidly. Also, the number of BPH surgery is on the rise. Male stress urinary incontinence is one of the complications of prostate surgery. If conservative treatment fails, surgical treatment including injection, melting surgery, or creation of an artificial urinary sphincter can be considered. Compared with other types of surgery, bulking agent injection therapy is less invasive, requires no skin incision, and can be converted to, to other types of surgery, if necessary. In our study, we investigated the efficacy of transurethral macroplastic injection for male stress urinary incontinence after prostate surgery, and we determined factor that affected outcomes. Included patients were SUI patients treated by transurethral macroplastic injection from March 2006 to November 2012 at Samsung Medical Center. Patients were evaluated at one month and six months after injection by determining the number of pads used per day and changes in incontinence symptoms. Treatment success was defined as one pad per day combined with subjective symptom improvement. After injection, the urethral lumen was confirmed to be co-optated like this figure. This was baseline characteristics. The study population comprised 30 men with mean age 660.1 years. Of 30 patients, 24 underwent prostate cancer surgery and remaining 6 underwent BPH surgery. The pre-injection pad number was 2.9 pad per day. After injection treatment, the mean follow period was 9.3 months. And total success rate was obtained in 43% at 1 month and 32% at 6 months. This table summarized the change in pre- and post-injection scientific severity index score at one month time point, which consists of four levels of severity. The number of patients who had a dry or slight and moderate symptom score were only three before injection, but after injection, dry was three and slight and moderate was increased to 13. However, this change was not statistically significant. Table 3 showed univariate 8 analysis of prognosed factors at one month. Patients who had no previous history of radiation treatment or higher ARPP were more likely to experience successful injection treatment. However, this relationship was not statistically significant nor was there any statistically significant relationship between success and any of other factors evaluated. Acute urinary retention occurred in five patients. Transurethral macroplastic injection treatment is a relatively non-invasive surgery for male SUI with 43% short-term success rate. Better treatment outcome may occur when patients have a higher ALPP and no previous history of radiation therapy. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>